Good morning, friends. Uh, myself, Vijay Shankar from the City Department, Chevrolet Engineering College. Today, we are going to discuss about the second unit uh, Fourier series, the signal set system. Subject, the second unit uh, Fourier series. Already, we completed the brief description about the second unit. Uh, what are the different conditions and discrete conditions? And what are the different types? So, again, you can see this. For Fourier series, uh, a continuous time Fourier series uh, purpose is Fourier series is used to analyze uh, periodic signals. Fourier series is used to analyze uh, periodic signals. We know the periodic signals uh, for the x of t is equal to x uh, t plus k. The x of t is equal to x of t plus capital T for the continuous, or otherwise, if the discrete time function means x of n is equal to x of n is equal to x of uh, n plus capital N, where capital T is a fundamental period and capital N is also the fundamental period. But it is this is for continuous time function, this is for the discrete time function, okay. So Fourier series is used to analyze the periodic signals of the, the periodic, uh, it is repeated for regular intervals with the time period of T or the time period of N. Okay. The harmonic constant of a signal is analyzed with the help of a Fourier series and the Fourier series can be developed for continuous time as well as for the discrete time signals. These are three types of Fourier series we have. Trigonometric Fourier series, compact trigonometric, it is also called as a polar Fourier series. And third one is an exponential Fourier series. Exponential Fourier series. In the last class, uh, we discussed about the, some of the discrete conditions. Uh, one is a single valued property, which having only the one value for t x t uh, values. Uh, suppose these are like this, having only one value. The single valued property and must be absolutely integrable. Integral uh, x of t dt is less than the infinite and it having the finite uh, intervals and finite uh, peaks and finite discontinuities. These are the four we have in the discrete conditions, which satisfies this uh, square integral with the other over one period. X of t must be absolutely integrable, that is, integral the x of t dt is less than the infinite. If any finite interval of our time x of t is bounded variation, that is, uh, there is no more than the finite number of maxima and minima during the single period of the signal. If any finite interval of time, there are only one finite discontinuities. For this case, the, for this class of the signals, so we are able to express the linear combination of the complex exponentials. Complex exponential x of t is equal to sum of uh, k equal to minus infinite infinite k is of x k e power minus j k omega naught. So clearly, I explained the last class uh, what are the different uh, conditions uh, we use. These are the necessary conditions, but not the sufficient. It's sufficient, but not necessary. So, sorry, it is sufficient, but not it is a necessary conditions. And see the continuous time Fourier series coefficients, uh, the Fourier series coefficients we have here. The x of t signal, the sum of k equal to minus infinite to infinite, e of k, e power j, k omega naught t, where omega naught is a 2 pi by the t, the angular frequency. And the coefficient is, uh, it is given by the a k is equal to 1 pi to the integral t, x of t, e power minus j, k omega naught t, t. What it matters to us. And it is only for the periodic signals. The periodic signal condition is x of t is equal to x of uh, t plus capital T. And uh, we already derived these expressions uh, a of uh, 0 and a of k and b of k in the previous class. Uh, it is also the 2 pi t, my students. 2 pi t 
the interior x of t dt and two pi t the x of t cos k omega naught t or cos n omega naught t when I am taking the k suffix n and p n is equal to the two pi t the integral of uh, t x of t x n we can take here instead of k n omega naught t both are the same is a zero is equal to and trigonometric Fourier series the expression is uh, three terms a of zero and sum of k equal to one to infinity a of k cos k omega naught t and sum of k is equal to one to infinite uh, b of k sine k omega naught t is a trigonometric Fourier series. Now the next one is a so the trigonometric Fourier series will derive from the equation of uh, f of t is equal to sum of n is equal to 1 to infinite c n x n of t a is an equation we got from the orthogonal expression for the right angle triangle. The e of t is uh, very small. The f of t is a signal and the c n x n of t c n x n of t according to the right angle triangle the hypotenuse f of t is equal to the e of t plus c n into x n of t where n is a uh, one two capital n otherwise uh, the error signal is very small and it is approximately equal to the sum of uh, n is equal to one to n c n x n of t. This is the equation we got from the orthogonal function. The right angle triangle considered as the two signals and the approximation signal the x c n x n of t and there is an error signal e of t is very small. The f of t is equal to the approximate signal. And we have seen that in this function the set having the one cos omega naught t cos n omega naught t and sin omega naught t and so on. Sin n omega naught t. Take the a naught is a value, the a1, the coefficient, a2, and so on on the sine functions. P is a coefficient for the sine function. So rewrite this function x x of f of t is equal to f of t is equal to a naught plus sum of n is equal to 1 to n, a n cos n omega naught and b n sine omega naught. So the C n is equal to according to the orthogonality of uh, approximation signal is the equation we have C n is equal to. That we can take that C n as A n here, A n, f of t, and the x n of t is uh, considered as a cosine function, and the denominator is a cos n square of cos square n omega naught t. After deriving that, we'll get the 2 by t naught uh, into the integral t to t plus t naught is a full cycle f of t into cos n omega naught t dt cos n omega naught t dt is e n is equal to. by substituting of n is equal to 0 here a 0 will get a of 0 that is also the 2 by t naught uh, integral t to t plus t naught into cos 0 is a 1 so f of t dt f of t dt okay the same function we got here So cos n square omega naught after the derived the expression, we got the t naught by 2 and it is the denominator. I will get in the numerator the 2 by t naught. A n is equal to, a n is equal to 2 by t naught integral t to t plus t naught uh, f of t cos n omega naught t. And the a naught is equal to, here you can take uh, the 2 my dear students. Uh, some mistake is there, uh, the 2. Otherwise, you can keep the a naught by 2. a naught by 2 and it is a 2 by t naught. Otherwise, uh, it is a 1 by t naught means it is a naught one. A naught by 2 by keeping of 2 by t naught here. Otherwise, 1 by t naught, we change this function as a naught by a naught one. The okay, same the C B n is also the same thing. The integral uh, sine square n omega naught t in the denominator. Cos square one omega, n omega naught t means 1 plus cos 2 theta. 1 plus cos uh, 2 omega naught t d by 2 and the sine function is also will become the 1 minus cos 2 omega naught t by 2. So in full cycle the cos interval uh, integral is uh, always a 0 and for the 1 with integral with the t upper limit is a t naught uh, 
uh, divide by 2 here, the T0 by 2 for the, both the conditions. So, Pn is also, we have the 2 by T0 of integral T to T plus T0. Uh, the numerator is uh, F of T is considered as a 1 X of T and uh, sin N omega naught to T. When I am changing this as F of T as X of T. So, X of T having A naught uh, or otherwise A naught by 2 by keeping the 2 by T naught here. Or A naught is 1 by T naught uh, and here it is a A naught. So remember, this is a very important expression the X of T is equal to as a trigonometric Fourier series. Same thing, uh, the second one is a compact trigonometric Fourier series. Compact means it is a polar form. The previous trigonometric Fourier series is a rectangular form. Now, convert that into the polar form, the rectangular to the polar, it having the magnitude and the fixed. What is that magnitude we have? The magnitude, the T of K is equal to under root of A e of K square plus B of K square. A of k square under B of k square. Phi of k is a minus tan inverse. Imagine that it's a coefficient by the real coefficient, the B of k by the A of k. Now, the rewriting the x of t, the rectangular function, the t of 0, A of 0, whatever we have, and combine the two functions, the sine and the cosine function, as a single term by taking off the D of k is a magnitude of A of k and B of k. And the phase angle pi of k is equal to minus tan inverse b of k by a of k. Okay, converting of a of a zero plus the sum of n is equal to one to n, one to n a of k cos k omega naught t plus sum of n is equal to zero to n. The 0 to 1 to n only, but the 0 the value is 0 only. 1 to n b of k sine k omega naught t. This is a x of t equation. It's a trigonometric Fourier series. Converting this trigonometric Fourier is a compact trigonometric Fourier series. E of k and b of k is a magnitude, is a d of k, and the b of k. The ratio of A of k taking off minus tan inverse is pi of k, the angle. Rewrite the expression x of t as uh, t of 0, the same as A of 0 here, 1 by t, the integral t x of t dt. Otherwise, it is a 2 by t, in a 2 by t a, and keep here the d naught t of 0 by 2. And sum of k is equal to 1 to infinite, t uh, of k cos k omega naught t plus pi of k. Is a compact trigonometric so Fourier series. So most of them, most of the analysis of the Fourier series, we are not using the compact trigonometric Fourier series equations. Only can use the exponential Fourier series. One is a synthesis equation and another one is a analysis equation. These two only we are mostly we are using uh, to derive the properties of the Fourier series. Uh, whatever it is, uh, the compact Fourier uh, trigonometric Fourier series we are not using. Okay. And the district conditions, uh, what we explained in the previous class, uh, the four we have single valued property x of t must have only one value at any time instant uh, within the interval of t naught. Before that, it is a C, the what is the exponential Fourier series, uh, x of t is equal to, remove this, x of t is equal to. Sum of k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k e power j k omega naught t. And actually, this analysis equation of the Fourier series is this one, and the Fourier series is for only the periodic functions. So it is a 1 by t the integral t, 1 by t the integral t e power minus j k omega naught t dt. And here x of t is also there, my students. Little bit mistake is there. The x of k is equal to 1 by t, the integral t, x of t into e power minus j k omega naught t dt. So, what is the x of t? It is a coefficient uh, exponential Fourier series. The x of k is a coefficient of uh, here. So, x of k is e x of t is equal to it is a sum of k equal to minus infinite infinite x of k into e power plus value of the synthesis equation e power j k 
k omega not k. So remember these two equations, uh, the mostly all the properties is derived by using these two equations. So analysis equation and the synthesis equation. Analysis equation once again, x of k is equal to 1 by t, the integral t, x of t into e power minus j k omega not t dt. And the synthesis equation is x of t is equal to sum of uh, k equal to minus infinite to infinite x of k e power j k omega not t d. It's a positive exponential. Here it's a negative exponential. Okay. The discrete conditions which are uh, sufficient but not necessary here. Single value property and finite discontinuities within the interval of t naught and finite peaks uh, and within the interval of t naught and absolutely integrable. So the finite integral single valued property means it having only the single value. The function having only the single value at the t naught here. See the double valued value, x of t signal and single valued function. And another one is the finite discontinuities. You see here, there is no, in the first one, there is no any finite discontinuities here. And here there is a finite discontinuity, finite number of discontinuities or the number of See 0 to 0, 0 to t, again it is a repeated and again it is a repeated. And here it is a fixed maxima and the minimum number. Here also the finite uh, maxima and minimum, finite peaks. In this, uh, there is no, in the first one, the first diagram, it shows that there is no any fixed maxima and minima. There is a changes here and here there is a changes. And but here there is a fixed maxima and minima, it's a peaks. And similarly, the last one saying that is absolutely integrable, absolutely integrable. First one it shows it's not absolutely integrable and it is a absolutely integrable function that integral zero to dx of dt as less than the infinite. And these functions, uh, discrete conditions, uh, and these discrete conditions are sufficient and is not the, they are not the necessary one. So sufficient and they are not the necessary one my students okay now see there's a very important topic here properties of Fourier series, the properties of uh, Fourier series. The first one is a linearity property. The first one is a linearity property. In this linearity property, what is the statement saying that if x of t the Fourier series is x of k and the y of t is the Fourier series is a y of k, then you can prove that the z of t is equal to a into x of t, b into y of t. Let this function is also the x1 and x2 also you can uh, prove that function. Z of k is equal to a into x of k and the b into y of k. To prove this function, you can use the analysis equation. Seeing that is analysis equation, uh, we'll explain the I quote my students. See the saying uh, here, the statement saying that the x of t is a Fourier series. Uh, x of t, the Fourier series is x of uh, k. And y of t, the Fourier series is uh, applying the Fourier series y of k. Okay. y of k. Then you can prove that uh, the combination of the signals uh, a into x of t plus b into y of t is a Fourier series of uh, Fourier series uh, a into x of k, a into x of k plus b into y of k, b into y of k. For that, uh, we can check the, so one of the first property, property one. So linearity property, the linearity. By taking the analysis equation, 
by taking the analysis equation. What is that analysis equation saying that as the x of k is equal to the capital X of k is equal to the in one by t the integral t. The limitations is a t limitations and x of t e power minus j k omega naught t into d is the analysis equation minus so what is the x of t assume this is the x of t signal a uh, little bit confusion here also the x of k is there and y of k so i am taking the x of k as z of k okay to avoid the ambiguity here the 1 by t the integral uh, t and the uh, x of t as i am taking the z of t as a time function and the frequency e power minus j k omega naught t Okay, this is equal to that of uh, z of t as of the function z of t can take a of a into x of t plus b into y of t now we can prove this is a z of k is equal to a into x of k plus b into y of t so first of all you can substitute the equation here the integral t z of t is uh, a into x of t plus b into y of t into e power minus j k omega naught t dt. Now split this integral into two parts. The first part uh, 1 by t the integral t a into x of t a into x of t e power minus j k omega naught t j k omega naught t into d is the first integral plus for the second integral 1 by t the integral t b into y of t e power minus j k omega naught t t now observe the equations uh, the two terms here x of t in power minus j k omega naught t dt the 1 by 2 integral is nothing but x of k and here the y of t e power minus j k omega naught t is the integral with 1 by t is multiplied so y of t and having the constants of that a into x of k the total equation as per the definition of the analysis equation of the trigonometric Fourier series exponential trigonometric Fourier series we can call it and plus and the p is a constant uh, and 1 by t the integral y of t e power minus j k omega naught t dt is a y of k so a into x of k plus b into y of k is a z of k is equal to so linearity property by taking off uh, the two signals x of t and y of t by adding the two signals uh, with the constants of a and b apply the Fourier series uh, to get a into x of k plus b into y of k the first one the first property linearity property then you can see the second property time shift or translation time shift and the translation second property what it matters for it is time shift and uh, translation or time translation simply saying that so in, in this uh, the statement of the time shift property saying that if x of t the Fourier series is x of k x of t the Fourier series is x of k then taking the z of t is equal to Taking the z of t is x of t minus t naught. The time is shifted with the t naught samples. The time is shifted with the t naught samples. And in the frequency, the z of t is equal to whatever the times number of samples is shifted in the time, you'll get as a negative exponential with that uh, 
T naught only samples. E power minus J K omega naught into T. Actually, the T is getting of the T naught samples, and it is multiplied with the frequency of the signals X of K. Let's uh, can tell you can prove this uh, time shift of the translation function. I will go the second. Uh, Property two, property two, time shift property. What is a time shift property? What is the statement saying that the x of t or the z of t? That is statement. But a little bit confusion if we have taken the x of t. Z of t is the z of uh, t minus t naught. Uh, the time is shifted with the T naught samples applying the Fourier series. We we'll get a Z of S, Z of K is equal to E power, the exponential value E power minus J K omega naught into T naught. Remember this into T naught X of K. For X of T, the Fourier series is uh, if X of T, the Fourier series is x of k only when it is shifted with the t naught samples it is multiplied with the e power minus j k omega naught into t naught let you take the proof we know the z of k is equal to the z of k is equal to integral 1 by t the integral t x of t into e power minus j k omega naught t dt. These are formula for the analysis equation of a trigonometric, not the trigonometric exponential Fourier series. So what is that? It is not the x minus two, sorry, the z of. So 1 by t the integral t, take the z of t as a the x of uh, not the x of uh, z of uh, t minus t naught uh, into e power minus j k omega naught uh, omega naught into t d t. So sorry, this is not the z also, it is an x only. And here also you can keep this uh, x. Assume, assume t minus t naught is equal to t minus t naught is equal to some m. Got it, my dear students. So t is equal to m plus t naught. The t naught is a constant. Uh, apply the derivative on both sides. So t is equal to dm. T is equal to dm. So one by t again the integral t. Now what is the x of t minus t naught? It becomes of x of m and e power minus j k omega naught. Now the t is replaced with the m plus uh, t naught, m plus uh, t naught into dt is replaced with the dm. So this exponential again two parts will get one part is a one by t into integral t. I am writing it as x of m into e power minus j k omega naught m into dm. And another part of the exponential is e power minus j k omega naught into t naught. So observe here the 1 by t, the integral t x m e power minus j k omega naught at dm. Again, the same function here. With the variable of uh, z here, here the x z. Here the x and the variable is a t instead of t here the m x of m e power minus j k omega naught m and the dm. So it is the same as uh, z of k instead of z t the x is x of m so it becomes of x of k into e power minus j k omega naught t naught. This z of k is equal. 
So z of k is equal to it is multiplied with the e power minus j k omega naught t into x of x of k. Understood, my dear students. So, so time shift property: the z of k is equal to e power minus j k omega naught t naught into x of k. Omega naught t naught into x of k. Now another one is a third property. The third property saying a frequency shift property. The previous property is shifting in the time. Now the third property is shifting in the frequency. How many samples here? The shifting the k naught samples is shifted in the frequency. Got it, my dear students. For that, when the frequency is shifted. With the case of K naught samples, uh, the exponential that to the positive exponential with the K naught samples, uh, with the K naught samples uh, is multiplied for the time sequence. Previously, when we take the x of t minus t naught, uh, in the time is shifted after applying the Fourier series, uh, the frequency x of k is multiplied with the exponential that to negative exponential j k omega naught and whatever the samples it is shifted in the time is getting in the t naught. Now the x of t is a time signal. The Fourier series is uh, x of uh, k minus k naught. We get that means the frequency is shifted with the k naught samples. It is multiplied with the e power positive exponential j k. That k is now the k naught omega naught into t. The time is multiplied with the positive exponential with k naught, and the time is shifted. The frequency is multiplied with the negative exponential with the t naught. Got it, my dear students? Now see here. The by using the same. Expression in the proof. Uh, take the z of k is equal to z of k is equal to one by d the integral d x of t z of t for minus j k. We have to prove this one. See one by d the integral t. Take the x of t or the z of t is uh, e power j k naught omega naught t x of t. Substitute this total function and e power minus j k omega naught t. And see here the two exponential, the bases are same. Uh, add the powers here, x of t and e power. Take the minus as a common. In this, uh, k omega naught t, k and omega naught t, and here is a plus. So keep the minus here, the minus into minus plus. Omega naught t is uh, both the common and k naught is. Uh, so this looks like the same function of uh, analysis equation of the Fourier series. Uh, Exponential Fourier series, uh, but instead of uh, e power minus j k omega naught t, the k value is k minus k. So x of k minus k. Naught. Once again, you can see a little bit confusion. I think uh, I will explain. So the third property, third property is a frequency shift property. It's the third one, frequency shift. Okay. What they are saying, uh, like you can take the z of t is equal to e power plus j k naught omega naught t x of t. Apply the Fourier series for the signal, you'll get uh, the shift in the frequency. That shift is k naught samples is shifted. So I take the k naught is a uh, the positive exponential. So proof. Uh, second, the Fourier series, uh, uh, the uh, exponential Fourier series, uh, z of k is equal to z of k is equal to one by t the integral t x of not the x is z of t into e power minus uh, c here the k is k 
here also the k and here also the k one k omega not t dt is a formula for the exponential fourier series that to the analysis equation so replace the z here 1 by t the integral t and the z of t you can take the e power plus j k not omega not t x of t into this function we have multiplication part minus t power j k omega not t t now the base are the same you can add the powers here 1 by t the integral t x of t you can keep here x of t into e power take the minus j is a common and uh, here the omega not t is also common in the both the terms if i am taking the minus j having only the k here in this one k in this function and minus uh, minus t to minus is a plus minus here the k not k not so observe here the z of k is there e power minus j k here the k is there the frequency function is a z of k now the k is here the k minus k not and the x of t signal so i count the exponential fourier series uh, you get x of k minus k not the frequency is shifted what it matters to us okay the frequency shift property when the frequency is shifted the exponential is uh, added the positive exponential is added for the not added sorry multiplied for the positive exponential multiplied the time and the time is shifted negative exponential is multiplied with the frequency signal x of k okay next fourth property scaling property scaling the two scaling in the time scaling the z of t is equal to z of t is equal to x of a into t x of a into t the fourier series you can z of t k is equal to x of t even if it is a multiplied with the a into t there is no change in the frequency that is the same thing will get the x of k why it is means uh, the fourier series is analyzed for the periodic signals so x of t is a periodic uh, then z of t is equal to x of a t is also periodic remember my dear friends is also periodic and if t is a period of uh, x of t so if i am taking the x of t is a signal this time period is a t now i am taking the x of a into t is a signal the scaling property a is a scaling for the time what is the time period t by a when the t is a capital t the time period if for a t the time period is a t by a. what it matters friends similarly this is for the time for the time and for the signal the frequency the x of k is equal to for x of k or otherwise similar the frequency x of t for the x of t why i am saying here this is ca the x of t only let it be the x of t into e power minus j k omega not is a frequency into dt is a formula for the exponential fourier series of the analysis equation integral t 1 by t is there and here the omega not for x of t the frequency is omega not what about one when the x of t is scaling with the x a of t the frequency is when the time is decreases here when the time is multiplying the a t by a and now the x of a t means uh, is becomes of a into the multiplied factor a into omega not a into omega not minus 
Similarly, if the frequency x of t is uh, omega naught, the frequency of z of t x of e t will be a into omega naught. Since t is multiplied by a factor of e, so t is multiplied by a factor of e, and the frequency is also multiplied by the factor of e here, the omega naught. You remember these two functions, and now we can go for the proof. The x of uh, z of t is x of t t to get the z of k is equal to x of k. Same over participants. So I will prove this one. So x of a into the fourth property is scaling property. X of a t. Can take uh, and apply the Fourier series. Uh, we'll get the x of k one, x of k. Now the analysis equation is saying that uh, z of k is equal to z of k is equal to one by t the integral t z of t e power minus j k omega naught t dt. J k omega naught t t. So it is that is take is a z of t, and you can prove that it is a z of t is equal to x of k one. Proof. Now what is the z of t here? The one by t, the integral t, and z of t is x e of t, and e power minus j k omega naught t d. Got it, my dear students. So now I am taking here the time is in, in scaling with the a. The time is scaling with the a. The t is becomes of a t by a. So x of t having the time period is a t, and the x a of t the time period is a t by a. And x of t the time frequency is omega naught, uh, and x a of t the frequency is uh, a into omega naught. So replace the a of t is equal to some dummy variable m, and t is equal to m by a. Uh, dt is equal to what? Dt is equal to dm by a. Remember you let this function. So the one by t, the integral t. Now I'm changing this x of e t is the x of m, as of e t is equal to m I assume. E power minus j k omega naught, and t is the m by a. T is m by a, and dt is the dm. Dm by a. So a can write in the outside. This is only the let function is equal to when the a is here the t by a only okay the t by a so one by t by a this a t is a t by a is the time period for t is the time period is a one by t and integral t x m And e power minus j k omega naught by a. Totally, can write this as omega naught by a into m into d m. So whenever it is a, a you can try a t. The frequency is multiplied with the a. So a a get cancelled. E power j k omega naught m into d m. See, this function is the same function of z of k. Is nothing but the replacing the x value as x m. It becomes of x of k. Nothing is changed. X of k. The time period is a t by a, and the omega is the frequency is multiplied with the a. A get cancelled. Again, the same function. The k omega not is there, and the time period is changed t by a. The t by a. x of k is equal. The scaling property says. Got it, my respects.